the hill tonight for the Giants will be the veteran right hander Alex Cobb Cobb 34 years of age he's in his 11th year at the big league level so far this year three and one with a five six one ERA splitter struck him out swinging came in right down the middle of the plate and then dipped down below the knees at the last moment so he gets the strikeout here's Marte got him thank you a little help here's Lindor Cobb into his windup pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. He struck it out with the splitter. And he strikes out the side. Starting pitcher, David Peterson. He has been outstanding. You know, he got sent down. He could have been uh, disappointed. Had to be disappointed, but he's played. He's pitched tremendous. Two up, two down. And Mike Yastrzemski will be the batter. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Peterson keeps that rolling. Another number three batter for the Giants set down. First strikeout for Peterson as he fans Yastrzemski to finish a 1-2-3 inning. Evan Longoria, Giants come to bat last of the second. Nothing to nothing the score. Swing a smash into left field, a base hit. Right through the hole toward the line. Racing over to his right to cut it off at the edge of the warning track is the Mets left fielder, Canna, digging for second, Longoria, and he beats the throw from Canna with a stand-up double. The Giants have their first hit against Peterson, and now Kevin Padlo. And Padlo goes down on the back foot slider. Peterson's had a good slider to start this game. That's his second strikeout. Here's Brandon Crawford now. Lefty versus lefty, although lefties have been hitting better against Peterson than righties. Swing and Crawford drives one into center field deep. Going back is Nimmo. Still going back at the wall. Adios! Pelota! Brandon Crawford over the center field wall into the Giants' bullpen to the left of straightaway. And the Giants have a 2 0 lead. Stats showed that Peterson had been tougher on righties than lefties, and sure enough, the left-handed hitting Crawford takes him over the center field wall for the first runs of the night. Former Yankee Tyro Estrada, and another back foot slider for a strikeout. It's been a good weapon for Peterson early in this game. That's his third strikeout. Two down, runner on, and now Stuart Fairchild. Grounded down to third, two hopper for Escobar, and he'll get the force to end the inning but Brandon Crawford's two run homer gets the Giants off to the fast start two nothing San Francisco here we go to the third inning here's Escobar the former D back O2 Escobar strikes out swinging on a high fastball Marte at first Nimmo over his second Davis at third and the bases are loaded so an opportunity for Lindor coming into the day has four hundred and ninety eight career runs batted in and he lifts one down the left field line Slicing toward the crowd. Ruff on the run. Can't get it. It's a fair ball. No. Oh. And three runs are going to score. No, the ball bounced out of play. Just two runs will score. That's 500 career RBIs for Francisco Lindor. A fly ball double that fell in right along the line. Hopped into the crowd for two bases. Two runs score, and the Mets tie the game. But congratulations to Lindor. RBIs number 499 and 500. And now Pete Alonso bats with runners on second and third and two outs. And gets a breaking ball and lifts it to deep left center field. Back goes Ruff. Onto the warning track, back near the wall, it's out of here! Pete Alonso with a three-run homer! And the Mets have a five-run third inning, and they lead it 5-2. to two. Number 11 for Alonso, he now has 40 runs batted in. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. Oh, he's, he's chirping. He's feeling good. After your team puts up five runs in the top, now a walk and a hit by pitch have given the Giants some positioning to get some of those runs back. They've got their number three hitter up. 3 2 coming and a number mm. back to Peterson. Out at second. The turn by Lindor in time for the double play. Beautifully done. A ball that hit with a lot of spin back to the mound, and Peterson made sure he secured it and then started the 1 6 3 double play. So two out, rough at third, and here's Longoria. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fastball away. Longoria chased it for strike three. Four strikeouts for David Peterson. And he's through the third. I'm sure the hardest part for Alex Cobb is to reconcile his ERAs going up again. He's feeling like he's pitching very well. And Canna goes around. Fifth strikeout for Alex Cobb. Now Nimmo at second. Nobody out. And the count is one and two. Marte struck out looking in the first inning. Swipe three called on the outside corner with a fastball. And Marte is very unhappy with D.J. Rayburn and he has a few words for him going over to third is Brandon Nimmo. So now two down and here comes Alonzo. Ground ball to third right to Longoria. Here's the throw to first. The inning is over. David Peterson faces Joey Bart to lead off the bottom of the fifth. 
And the backdoor breaking ball got him. Slide around the outside corner to get Bart for the fifth strikeout for Peterson tonight. Two up, two down. Peterson's retired seven straight. And he hits one on the ground. Lindor to his left, sweeps it up nicely, and throws out Ruff. It's a one, two, three inning for Peterson, who's now retired eight in a row. Yeah, now he's at third with one out. One ball and two strikes to Escobar. Yeah. Got him. He needed the strikeout and he got it. And two outs. J.D. Davis will bat now with two down. Ground ball over the bank. That's a fair ball going down the line. In to score comes McNeil. Davis heads for a second. J.D. Davis, his third hard hit ball of the night, his second hit. He's got a double and an RBI, and the Mets lead 6 to 2. Two out. That's 10 in a row for Peterson. And he'll probably be asked to get one more batter, and that'll be Evan Longoria. The 3 2. Struck him out. Got him with the back foot slider on his 100th pitch. David Peterson retires his 11th batter in a row. What a night for Peterson. Leadoff man on for the Mets in the eighth inning. 6-2, the Mets lead. Jeff McNeil will be the batter. Hey, McNeil, work out those legs. you got no power. Three balls and one strike pitch. McNeil's high fly ball, right field, pretty deep. Yes, is going to watch it fly. It is gone. Home run, Jeff McNeil. Onto the catwalk in right field just before McCovey Cove. McNeil launches his second home run of the year. And the Mets have blown it open here in the top of the eighth inning. It is eight to two. That ball went 408 feet. And well, the guy behind home plate saying Jeff McNeil doesn't have any power, doesn't have much to say now. Eight to two Mets. No balls and a strike to Canna. Canna's 0 for three tonight. And he launches one to deep left center, headed back toward the wall. And it's out of here. Canna makes it back-to-back -back home runs. The Mets have erupted here in the eighth inning as Mark Canna hits his fourth home run this year. Two balls, two strikes on Mazika. One out. Right around second, Davis. The pitch. Mazika loops one down the right field line. That's going to get down a base hit. Davis rounds third. He will score. Mazika's into second base. A one-out RBI double, and it's 10-2. In favor of the Mets here in the top of the eighth, a four-run inning. Ten to two Mets, one oh pitch. Escobar hits one toward the gap in right center field. This one headed for Triples Alley as it falls in and bounces to the wall. McNeil scores, Canna scores, and Escobar will settle with a two-run double. The Mets have a 12-2 lead. So the Mets are up by 10. Now J.D. Davis has already got three hits tonight, a single and two doubles, and he waits on it and hits it through the hole for a base hit. And that'll bring in Escobar with the third run of the inning. And it's 13 to 2. Costello entered the game in the seventh inning as a pinch hitter. So he is 0 for 1. Into center field, Jankowski got a late jump. It's going to be a base hit. Coming in to score is Yastrzemski. 13 to 3. Two out, two on, a run home. The batter is Papirski, who struck out his last time. And it's on the ground. Lindor has got it. And the throw to first is true, and the ball game is over. The Mets celebrate Buck Showalter's 66th birthday by putting on an offensive barrage as the Mets overwhelm the Giants 13 to 3.